Welcome to the Celtic Llama. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do the post ribbing stitch pattern. For this pattern, you're going to need to know how to do a treble crochet. If you need help with that, you can check down in the description below for my videos on how to do a treble crochet. So to get started, you are going to chain multiples of two. Once you have your chains, you're gonna start off by chaining three. And in the fourth chain from the hook, you are going to work your first treble crochet. Followed by treble crocheting in each stitch all the way to the end of the row. Once you have all of your treble crochets, we're gonna start with row two by chaining two, and we're going to do a front post treble crochet. So that's going through the back and then front. So you have the post in the front of your work, then treble crochet, followed by working a back post treble crochet. And that'll be the repeat all the way to the end of the row. So again, it's a front post treble crochet, followed by a back post treble crochet. A front post treble crochet, and a back post treble crochet. So here we are coming up at the end. You'll do your front post treble crochet, but you'll notice there's no post to do a back post. So what you end up doing is you just work one treble crochet in the last stitch in the row. So we're gonna turn our work and we are gonna work on row three. So you're gonna chain two and you're gonna work a front post treble crochet, sorry, a back post treble crochet followed by a front post treble crochet. And that'll be the repeat for this whole entire row. So it's a back post treble crochet, followed by a front post treble crochet. And just like with round two, you're gonna get all the way to the end and you'll work one treble crochet in the last stitch. So the repeat for this pattern is round Two, row two is front post treble crocheting followed by back post treble crochet. And then row three is back post treble crochet followed by front post treble crochet. And you just repeat this until you get your desired size. And there you have it. How to do the post ribbing stitch pattern. It's a super fun pattern and I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a like, and I really do hope you have a happy crocheted day.